Yo what's up guys welcome to my humble youtube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. The Shadow of a God by Dirty Ripped Paper Chapter 6 Beware of Danger, Child Hey Rimuru, you're going with me to Jin Ah's parent teacher conference right? Jin Wu called Rimuru. I'm quite literally next door to you, you don't have to call me, but obviously I am. I'm already dressed up and waiting for you. R. You really sung Jin Wu? Jin Ah scanned Jin Wu head to toe. What, is it strange? He asked. You've got an attractive, Jin Wu, Rimuru complimented him, making him blush. You two fit each other well. Jin Ah smiled. The three of them walked down the hallway and everyone talked about the two of them. Wah! Rimuru Tempest? The Demon Lord? Rimuru Tempest is even more gorgeous in real life? Is that Jin Ah's brother? He's so handsome, the two look so good together. What were you doing last night that kept you out so late? It's a secret. Did you and Riri finally sleep together? She blurted out. The two were flabbergasted by her words. Jin Wu pinched her cheeks in order to scold her. That isn't appropriate for someone your age to say, he shook his head. It was his time, so he entered the room. Then I'll be waiting right here, Rimuru said, accompanying Jin Ah. So, you two didn't sleep together? She asked, guarding her cheeks. I already told you, Jin Ah. Jin Wu and I are just best friends. She ruffled Jin Ah's hair. But what if you two could be more than that? Rimuru stayed silent for a moment. That could be nice. The thought of them always lingered in her mind. Just what if? They could be together. What then? You're never gonna leave us, right? Rimuru hesitated. She knew the day would come where she'd leave the two of them. It would be lying if I said that Rimuru would pick this life over her own. Nothing would compare to her own world, the place she became Rimuru. At the end of the day, Rimuru's home lies with her nation. Of course I'm never gonna leave you, she pursed her lips. To Rimuru, Jin Ah was like the younger sister they never had. The younger sister and the child they never had. To Rimuru, Jin Wu was someone that made them feel human again. A fleeting memory they'll remain. Jin Ah, if, if one day I leave, what'll happen then? I would be okay, because I know that my brother would go to the end of the world just to find you, and I know he'd succeed. I. Rimuru was about to reply but Jin Wu was already finished talking with the teacher. We have someone to talk to, Rimuru. Oh, it really was you. Rimuru greeted the student walking out of the school. Why are you two here? She sheepishly asked. Was the hunter that my teacher wanted to introduce to me, you two? Nah, it was only Jin Wu but he dragged me along, Rimuru said. Jin Wu sighed and held up his phone to the kid's face, showing a pic of him and Jin Ah. Are you friends with her, Jin Ah? Yay, are you Jin Ah's brother? I even visited the hospital once with her. Oh yeah, I walked you home, Rimuru remembered their first encounter. The kid chatted with Rimuru some more before going on to talk with Jin Wu. I don't know what my teacher said to you. But I'm not planning to go to school. I don't plan to quit as a hunter, too. She had this determination in her eyes. Being an E rank hunter isn't a profitable business. You'll need to buy weapons that cost more than you get in dungeons. You'll what? Fight barehanded? Just because you made some money from our raid doesn't mean you can become a full fledged hunter. Jin Wu knew from first hand experience how it is to be an E rank hunter. He has no other choice but to be a hunter, even if he was the lowest of the low. Enough with the lecture. Mister is also an E rank. We aren't going to try to convince you to quit, Rimuru smiled. T then why are you two here? To turn you into a great hunter. Jin Wu patted her head. The three arrived at the White Tiger Guild's training session for new recruits. I am the chief of the second department of management, An Sang Min. I'm Yun Ji Chul, an assistant from the same department, the two men introduced themselves. You're the student from before. The chief noticed the kid. I was surprised when I received a call from Hunter Rimuru Tempest and wanted to experience a new recruits training session. She even added the fact that Hunter Sung Jin Wu as well wanted to. Of course I couldn't dare refuse if it's them too. It's already past 9 feet o'clock. Let's stop the chatter, a hunter butted in. 
Isn't that quite rude? Rimuru confronted his manners. He scoffed. Listen, I know you've been praised by hunters, but the fact remains, you are a B ranked. Lower than me, so I advise you know your place, he spoke. A second later, he felt his throat tightening up, to the point he almost couldn't breathe. It was like a weird aura was surrounding the place, even affecting Jin Wu and the others a bit. The man was almost kneeling at this point. Rimuru leaned in and whispered. I advise that you know your place. Who is that? Jin Wu asked the chief. He's our new A rank recruit, but he seemed offended after hearing I accepted your request. An A rank? His name is Kim Chul, and as you can see, he's a tank. Well, he looks so fucking stupid. Rimuru definitely didn't like that man. The chief cleared his throat before speaking. This attack force is composed of 1A rank, 7B ranks, and 4C ranks, in total of 12 people. Isn't that excessive? Rimuru asked. It may seem overkill, but they're still just new recruits. They must first gain some dungeon experience. The kid looked delighted. When do we enter? She asked Rimuru and Jin Wu with a big smile on her face. The assistant leaned in and whispered to Rimuru and Jin Wu. If you two participate then the raid will become too easy, so please watch from the sidelines. The hunters started to enter the gate, aren't you two coming? After you, they said in unison. Just as the two entered the gate last, the sensation became, different. Call the main attack force immediately. Call an S rank. Rimuru yelled before getting sucked into the now red gate. What is this? It doesn't resemble a dungeon. We stepped foot in a snowy area. It was hard to tell how far this land went on. The gate disappeared. I looked back. I don't feel anything suspicious, Jin Wu said. Um, is there something wrong with us? The kid asked, worried. An arrow pierced through the air, aiming for her head. In the nick of time, Jin Wu was able to catch the arrow. If not, I would have obviously done it, but had none of us caught it then the kid would have died quick. Unfortunately the others weren't as lucky to have a Jin Wu by their side. I looked into the trees and saw the perpetrator. Ice elves. How amusing. They look really different from the elves in my world. I heard about them before. People who faced them in battle preferred to call them. Hiaki. I stared at the bodies of the fallen. The two weakest hunters in the attack force. Their eyes are as sharp as their arrow, Jin Wu said. Jin Wu looked at the Hiaki and the Hiaki swiped their thumb by their own throat, meaning Jin Wu is probably being considered as the next weakest hunter. He crushed the arrow in anger. Calm down, they're just teasing you a bit, I laughed. I'll kill that one with my own hands. I'm not sure how many of you understand the situation yet, but we are currently inside. A red gate. We cannot return unless all of us are dead or the dungeon opens, the A rank shouted. Miss, what is a red gate? The kid asked me, uh. Seal, what is a red gate? It's a special gate that connects us to another world. Once you've stepped foot in the gate it is completely closed off and nobody else can come in and help. There are cases where the dungeon automatically opens after a period of time, but there are also cases where you need to kill the boss. I repeated her words to the kid who looked at me, scared. Why you'll protect me right, sister, brother? She was on the verge of tears. Jin Wu patted her back while I ruffled her hair. Of course, we assured her. I'll introduce myself again. I am a rank hunter Kim Chul. Now that we know it is a red gate, I'll take responsibility for your survival. But I won't give you all false hope. There is no guarantee we'll all be able to come back alive. We have to wait countless months for the dungeon to open. Our chances of survival are very slim. I guess that's the best decision. Even if they are highly ranked, newbies are still newbies. As the strongest and highest ranked hunter here, it's a given that he should take lead of the situation. A Red Gate's rank is at the very least a B in a dangerous place like this, it'll be difficult to manage a huge number of people. That's why I'll form a separate team to clear the dungeon with me. I bet this dude's team is gonna die first. I've read too many manga with this trope. Who wishes to join me? He yelled and people quite literally begged to be on his team. Your chances of survival is bigger if you were to join an A rank, Jin Wu mumbled. C rank hunters clung onto him, but he pushed them away. They won't survive on their own. I won't bring any dead weight with me. If you guys manage to survive until we take down the boss, you can also return safely. I have to be honest, he's right. 
but, in the eyes of the lower ranked hunters it'll obviously be unfair. A woman switched teams with a C rank. Kim Chul didn't notice the arrows coming, Jin Wu said. He's dumb. I plainly said and laughed, the woman came up to us and smiled. You aren't a B rank right, and you aren't an E rank either, she noticed. I mean, mine isn't even that much of a secret, but in Jin Wu's case it kind of is. Let me ask you a question, how are you guys so calm for new recruits? Jin Wu asked. The first lesson we've been taught is that anything can happen inside a dungeon. Especially Hunter Kim Chol, he's destined to join the main attack force, the woman answered. The other team decided where to go, looks like they entered the path. If so, then we should enter the forest. As we walked through the forest the woman tried to get us to answer the question. Please answer the question, I'm right, aren't I? She looked at us eagerly. Well, but the woman stopped us from walking any further. Please stop, why? Jin Wu was confused. I analyzed our surroundings. Ice bear territory. I mumbled. That's right. It's covered with its markings. The entire forest is ice bear territory. We need to go back. We need to leave the forest. Jin Wu was rather interested. That's why we're moving further into the forest. Jin Wu walked ahead. Huh? Did you not hear me? We only have to worry about bears in the forest if this is their territory. Ice bears are more reasonable than the ice elves, we said in unison. I looked at Jin Wu and pouted. Stop copying me. I punched him lightly, making him laugh. Why didn't I think of that? Ah, aren't you cold with that clothing? Jin Wu asked her. He took out warm clothes out of his inventory and gave it to half of the people here. I took out my own from my own inventory and gave it to the other half. I think he did that so he could have a spare in his inventory. I don't mind. S spatial magic? From both of you? She stared in awe. Isn't spatial magic limited to one or two items? To summon so many, it was like they were breaking their neck looking back and forth on Jin Wu and I. What are they? The kid was also in awe of us. Mr. Miss, what are you two? You, really don't match your ranks, especially Mr. We brought you here, so it's our responsibility to protect you, he patted her head. However, don't ask me anything. He looked at her and then redirected his eyes to the other members. That applies to all of you here too. Don't ask me anything either. I think you'd all be grossed out by my answer. I shrugged. An ice bear appeared behind Sung Jin Wu. What was it about only having to worry about bears? That's a highly ranked monster, a member screamed. You all, shut up. I released my hockey, making them shut up. Jin Wu and I can handle these monsters by ourselves. I looked at him. I can't let you have all of the glory, we said to each other. He jumped to the air and went down on the bear in an attempt to punch it, but sadly for him I was able to defeat it before him by engulfing my katana in a black flame and slashing at it, destroying it whole. Shall we turn this into a game? I asked. We shall, he gripped his hand. Who are you? The woman asked me. I told you, no questions. I shushed her. I never knew bear meat could taste so good. I was enchanted by the pure flavor of its meat. By the looks of your body, I didn't know you'd be such a glutton, he Jin, the woman from earlier commented. I, I work out a lot, I can't tell her I'm a slime that's unable to gain weight and can mold my body into any form I want. Miss Hunter Park he Jin, hasn't the number of ice bear ambushes been decreasing? That's because our two captains have taken care of it. Well, they did kill ice bears in one move. Sung Jin Wu went up and so did I. Where are you going? They asked us. I need to exercise, Jin Wu replied. I'm just gonna go for a stroll, I replied. We walked together. Hey, Jin Wu. After you exercise, what are you gonna do? Kill the ice bears around. Why? I'll be back after a while. I went off. I went inside the cave. This, this is definitely the cave I remember. A dark cave, illuminated by a ton of magic crystals. We walked in further and further. This nostalgia, it definitely is what I think it is. There I saw a reenactment of a memory, my first memory. Veldora. No, that isn't you. I stared. The slime went up to me and morphed into a 12 year old looking Rimuru. That was what I looked after I first absorbed Shizu. I did all of this for you, for us, isn't it fun? It is. 
I smiled. The parallel me infused into my skin, and gave me its memories. Seal, I'm bored. As a being that can create everything you can imagine, why don't you try creating your own amusement? I don't think I can find the time. By using parallel connection you can. Hum, then I trust you can do it for me? Of course, master. Leave it to me. My parallel self created a world that fit my desire of amusement. He created beings. He did a damn good job in creating a world of amusement. Veldora. I stared at the dragon who resembled Veldora quite a lot. It was almost identical, yet it wasn't him. I wonder what he's doing, I whispered. I have to admit, I miss the people back in my world. Maybe we should have gone on a group vacation here. But I'm here now. Next time, I'll go on a vacation with them. I walked outside of the cave and ventured through the forest. We encountered Jin Wu using his shadow army for the first time. The protagonist. Jin Wu was clearly the protagonist no matter what angle you looked from. It gave a strange feeling of happiness to me. Jin Wu killed the giant monster and went to its corpse. Arise. I felt chills. What a cool aura. Reminds me of me centuries ago. I really do miss being young. Bravo, Jin Wu. I applauded. Let's go back, Rimuru. He put his arm on my shoulder and walked with me to where the others are. I had a fun time chatting with the members of our team. From a distance, into the trees, there I saw Kim Chol. You fuckers. He screamed and went at us. I put myself in front of them to protect them. If he tried to attack them, they wouldn't survive, except Jin Wu. Kim Chol. How did you get here? I confronted him. My attack force was wiped out due to lack of food and equipment, but how do you guys have all these supplies? I stared at him. What right does he have? The fuck you care? You were the one that wanted to separate the teams. The equipment and food here only fits the members right now. You're acting like you have a right to these supplies. I went up to him and locked eyes. Are you the one who hid these supplies and left your comrades to die? I'm not the one that couldn't be a better leader. He tried to hit me, but Jin Wu went right behind him and smacked him so hard he flew into a tree. Who is it that actually left their comrades to die? I yawned. And he brought along dead weight. How bothersome. I rolled my eyes. Undo your stealth. With your powerful energy, stealth is just useless. Jin Wu stared into the air. These ice elves revealed themselves, surprising the members. There really was two among these trashes. The boss spoke. Who the fuck are you calling trash? Jin Wu and I yelled in unison. You two. Can understand me. To be able to converse. How splendid. There is someone I wanted to introduce to you. The boy there. He pointed to the elf beside him. You two have met before. Ah, the elf that made Jin Wu angry. He wanted to have a face off with you, so, before the elf could finish his words, Jin Wu cut the elf's head clean. Anything else to say? The boss's face contorted into a smile. You're an amusing guy. The boss suddenly went at me first, clashing with my katana. Jin Wu lunged at him and slashed at him with his dagger. I have a proposal, but first, I have a question. And it is? Despite not being a human, why are you two living amongst them? Shit. Jin Wu's case is something that can be explained. He is a player by the system, so it can be because of that. Me on the other hand. I looked at Jin Wu and I see him staring at me with surprise. I hope he'll forget all about it later. In our heads, there's a constant voice speaking to us. To kill humans. But I cannot hear that voice in the presence of you two. There's no need to fight. We do not want unnecessary casualties on our end. The boss looked behind us. Hand over the humans behind you, and I'll spare your lives. We refuse, I plainly said, pointing my katana at him. Do you plan on fighting me and my soldiers? Even with you two it'll be hard to withstand our numbers. Numbers? What numbers? Jin Wu scoffed and revealed his shadow army. I gave him a thumbs up of approval. The members were screaming at the sudden sight of monsters. Keep calm, everybody, I yelled and looked at He Jin to let her know she should take care of them. What a cheap trick, the boss said. His and Jin Wu's soldiers started clashing at each other. You guys, retreat. I yelled at the members. The boss pounced at me and I blocked his move. You are the only opponent here strong enough to hold their own against me. How amusing that is. 
he slashed at me and I kept dodging. I could just take care of him in a second, but where's the fun in that? Jin Wu went to back me up and slashed at the boss. My name is Baruka. What are yours? He clearly looked at us like we were animals in a zoo. Sung Jin Wu. Rimuru Tempest. Jin Wu ran after him, kicking a sword to the passed out Kim Chol. Intentional perhaps? Jin Wu pounced at him and attempted to slash him. Rimuru, stay right where you are, he yelled at me and I obeyed. If things get too hard then I might have to step in. Master, perhaps your glory shall be rewarded soon after this. What? You will walk at the same pace as that, man does, right? Well, it looks like he's going to start running now. Is he finally gonna get reappraised? I looked at Jin Wu who was fighting with the boss. E.H., he seemed okay. I shouldn't butt in. I walked towards where the other members retreated to but then I heard a shout. Sung Jin Wu. Kim Chul ran up to the fight. I turned around but Jin Wu already had it solved. Egris, he whispered and then came out his shadow soldier. That red knight from before, Igris's sword pierced through Kim Chul. How interesting, but nothing will change. Jin Wu's mouth contorted into a smile. Arise. Wah, wow, he really does have such a protagonist aura. Oh, he made Kim Chol into his shadow soldier? Ah, oh, that was his plan all along. I got to hand it to him, he's way smarter than I was when I first started out. Without me you would have definitely died. Thank you, seal. The boss tried to attack Jin Wu but was blocked by a new shadow soldier of Jin Wu's. Kim Chol. Since you're Chol, I'll name you Iron, Jin Wu said. Stop getting distracted. Do you think this lone soldier is enough to stop me? The boss had a menacing tone. Of course not. He smiled. The boss went at him but was greeted by three of them. Two of Jin Wu's shadow soldiers and one of him. Air all hunters fight like this, Miss Rimuru? The kid asked. No, but at least Jin Wu's is. I stared at the scene. This Jin Wu is no longer the man I first met. I mourned his change, but now I realize that he has grown. Growth isn't a bad thing, I mumbled. I wonder when he's gonna finish the fight. I'm getting quite bored, I clenched my fist. I really wanted to have a go at it, but how can I when he's got the situation handled? Rimuru, you really are something. To call this fight boring, how many fights have you witnessed? He Jin asked me. More than a human like you could handle. I patted her shoulder, my words made her confused. Huh? She tilted her head. Never mind that. Just look at the scene. Jin Wu is obviously gonna win, I spoke. All of the boss's soldiers were dead and only Jin Wu, along with his army remained. I watched and I watched, yawning. I got surprised by the boss suddenly ripping his shirt. That's crazy. Personally, I would never rip my shirt in a fight. The fight ended with Jin Wu stabbing the boss in the stomach while, Iron, smashed him to pieces. I ran up to Jin Wu and hopped on his back, Rimuru? Good job, Jin Wu, I hugged him, you really have grown, I whispered. While carrying me on his back, Jin Wu spoke to the others. Let's go back. Where? A member asked. I hopped off his back. Outside the gate. Something about it made me worried, not for me, but for Jin Wu. We walked outside and was greeted by people, it seems they expected Kim Chul and not us. No way. Are these all the survivors? Yes, it's just us, He Jin answered. Only the low ranked hunters survived? No A rank and only two B ranks? An animal looking man said. Come on, I'll drive you home. Jin Wu paid no mind to the other people and instead prioritized the kid. The man approached Jin Wu. Stop right there, he held his shoulder back. In response, I pointed my katana at him. If you have something to ask you can ask your guild members. I'm tired. Jin Wu pushed his hand off. The man put his hand back on Jin Wu's shoulder. I am Baek Yun Ho, the guild master of White Tiger. Try anything funny and I won't hesitate to slice your head off, I told him off. We have lost nine guild members from this incident, do I not have the right to ask questions? So what? I saved the remaining three. If you're the master, shouldn't you thank me first? Jin Wu's eyes looked at the master coldly. Baek Yun Ho realized his mistake and felt sorry. I was being too difficult. You're right. 
I apologize. He put his hand down and I put my katana down. Jin Wu walked to his car and I was about to follow but the master stopped me. It looks like you saw his potential far before anyone else. I smiled. He reminds me of myself. I walked off. While in the car with Jin Wu I noticed he was irritated. Hey, what happened? I asked. I couldn't extract the ice elf's shadow, but, I got his dagger, he replied. At least you got something, I tried to comfort him. We arrived at the kid's house and dropped her off. Before she went I spoke to her, kid, if ever you need someone to talk to, big sister is here. I pointed to myself. Thank you, she bowed down. Brother, sister. I'll see you too tomorrow. No, later. She left. Later. I wondered. It's already past midnight. It's back to raiding with Jin Ho today. He looked at the clock and drove off. While on the way home we chatted, and laughed. This may not last long, so I'll have to burn this in my memory. Jin Wu, my best friend, thank you.